Hello guys, welcome to another video. Swift UI brings us great additions for this new iteration, but also we got some deprecations in the framework. Let's explore today one of them, and it's related to dismissing a view. Yeah, a simple action that maybe is not so simple. Also at the end, I want to share some experience using dismissing action because it's something important that you must know if you want to work with this in production. Let's get started. My name is Pete, and this this is Swift and Tips. All right, here we are in our demo. Let's start by asking us, okay, what is doing this application? Well, it's pretty simple. This is just a simple view and we want to display this model view. However, this is a button, but it's not doing anything. Let me show you what are the ways to present a view, a model view in this case, and dismiss it. The first way is using bindings. Let's see how this works. We will have to create a state property, in this case, a Boolean, that will reflect if the model is open or not. That's simple. Now, how are we gonna change this state? Using the button. Simple here, we're going to use a toggle. And I'm not going to use show model equal true, and I will tell you why in just a moment. Okay, our button is capable to mutate the state. However, how are we gonna display the model view? It's also pretty straightforward. We have to use a view modifier called sheet. And sheet has two options. One option is using an item, which in this case is a binding object that you can use and display something when that object is not nil. In other words, you will have an optional binding object, and then if that object is nil, then you won't show the model. Otherwise, you will display it. And this is great if you want to share some information to that model. However, today we're gonna use this one, which is just a simple sheet that contains a binding bool object. And if this binding object is false, it won't do anything. But if it is true, we're going to display the model. Remember, if we want to make reference to the binding object, we need to use the dollar sign. Now we have other two closures here. On this miss is just literally when you finish your work with the model, what will happen then? And now content is literally what is the model you want to display. In this case, we want just model view. And it's working. However, we cannot go back through this button. We can, of course, do this gesture that is available since iOS 13, I think. And as you can see, yeah, we just execute whatever we got in this on this miss action. But that's not what we want to do. We want to use this button to actually execute that dismissing option. So then uses this binding method, what we need to do is then provide here in model view a binding parameter to then share the reference from this value that is displaying the model. Let's do that and explain you in action. Remember that I just created a long time ago a series of state management. I will leave you in the description and in the card here if you want to read more about all those property wrappers. Okay, here we have two things to do. One is completing this argument. And here we're going to share this show model state to this model view. And second, we will here change the state of or is presented. Okay, what is happening here? Actually, let me run this to see the result. We are pressing here and boom, it's working. Okay, what is happening here is again, we are sharing a state here. We are sharing this state in this case, reflecting that we are showing a model and we pass that state to model view using a binding object here. And this binding object is basically sharing the same reference and using literally the same state that is here, that is in show model. So any modification here will affect this state value. And using this binding method is like any other binding object that you use regularly in Swift UI, but it's in this case, you are just reflecting that every Boolean value represent if the model is visible or not. That simple. Now I'm using is presented equal false in this case because literally every time we press this button, press to dismiss, we want to hide our model. And by default, all the time we are in this screen, there's no way to 
have show model equal to false and display the model. That's impossible because state is helping us with that. Okay, this is the first method. As you may see here, this is just a very basic example. But if you have many subviews or a view hierarchy so complex, can you imagine just passing this object over all those views? It will be really complicated. So for now, we have another option, which is presentation mode. Okay, here, instead of using a binding object for model view, we don't need that anymore. Only this means view will take care of this show model. But then what will happen here is pretty simple. There is an environment object There is called presentation mode. And the only thing we have to do to dismiss this model is just using presentation mode dot wrap value dot dismiss. What is that presentation mode, you may ask? It's literally a binding object. But in this case, the binding is about presentation mode. Let's see what is presentation mode. Yeah, presentation mode is literally an struct that is provided by SwiftUI and, well, is capable to use this method, this means. And under the hood is just checking what is the current model view in the screen and then apply a dismiss. That's so simple. However, this is a binding object and then you cannot use the object right away. For that, you need to use what is the object inside of this binding. And in this case, you can do that using wrap value. And then once you get the wrap value, then you can use the method dismiss. It's a bit weird, but it works. Let me run this. Let me run and press to dismiss and it's working. Nothing serious. So far, in iOS 13 and 14, these are the two ways to dismiss a view. However, since iOS 15, presentation mode is deprecated. Oh yeah. And instead, we can use another environment object, but in this case, it's called dismiss. Let's see that. So instead of using presentation mode, let's use dismiss. And let's rename this, dismiss. Let's remove this. And then let's use this means and literally use it as a function. That's it. Let's run this. There you go. It's so simple. Now, this is new in SwiftUI 15. You cannot use this means in iOS 13 or 14. If you have a project using 13 or 14, you will have then to use conditional just to see if you are in the correct iOS version. But this is awesome. This is literally the same as presentation mode, but it's a simplification because well, right away you use environment object dismiss and then you use the object dismiss. However, there is something interesting and we are here in Swift and Tips. We don't like to just see, oh, it's working. No, let's see what's inside of dismiss. As you can see, this is dismiss and is a type of dismiss action. We require to use only iOS 15, Mac OS Monterrey, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, I said Monterrey. And we have also Boolean if you want to check if a view is still presented or not. But for now, the interesting thing is dismiss. Let's see what is dismiss action. This is interesting. This dismiss action is a struct. And we have something here called has function. What's that? It's a really convenient feature provided by Swift. Let me jump really quick to a playground to explain you really short what is that. For example, if you have this struct hello, you can use call has function and let's see what happened. Yeah, as you can see, this hello is displaying a hello here in the console. If I don't tell you that this is a struct or whatever, you will see just a simple function, right? That's the magic of call has function. You can use your object has functions, literally. That's simple. So for example, in cases like dismiss, in which is pretty straightforward what dismiss should do, well, you can use call has function to reflect that right away. Instead of having a global function around, it's much cleaner to use a struct or a class and then use call has function just to reflect that operation immediately if it's required. That's the magic of call has function. Yeah, as you can see, it's a really nice way to do it now in iOS 15. It's a much cleaner API instead of using presentation mode. So remember, if you want to use iOS 15, you require to use dismiss instead of presentation mode.
Before leaving, I want to share something. I've been using SwiftUI basically since version 1.0. I've learned a lot in this journey. And let me tell you that I am a bit disappointed because I was expecting better improvements in this area, especially because this could sound really straightforward, but in reality, if you have a big project and many states and you want to control how, when, and who is displaying a model view, it's really complicated using this miss, not because the complexity of using it, but the problem is that you cannot mock anything. You cannot control or test this thing. It's really messy because this is provided by the system and you have control about that. I think the only example that you can use more or less safe is the binding example. However, it's really complicated and there's a lot of boilerplate if you use it, but you have the flexibility to bring that into a view model, for example, and then clean out all the logic from your views. And then if you want to do a unit test about that, and if you want to see that in some conditions you are rendering the view because yeah it's just show model equal true well it's is it, that's your way however it's not a perfect solution in the other hand yeah this miss is pretty convenient and pretty straightforward to use but believe me i've been in a project and having well not this miss but presentation mode instead and it's kind of annoying Especially also because in sometimes if you don't know what you're doing, you could break the view hierarchy and then you could be stuck in your model view because yeah, for some reason presentation mode is not working anymore. There are many areas of opportunities for Apple and SwiftUI to improve that. But for now, I think we'll have to wait until SwiftUI 4.0 to see a better solution. I hope so. All right, but I would like to know what do you think about dismissing operations? Are you agree with me that we require a better solution here or do you think it's well enough to production? I would like to know your comments and also I would like to see if you have faced any kind of issue with these dismissing actions. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Swift and Tips, because it's the fastest way to see what's coming for Swift and Tips. And also, if you have any question or would like to discuss something with me, is the place to go. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and share it with your friends if this video was useful for you. That's it for me. Thank you so much and have a great day.